Bag down. Bag up. Bag down. Bag up. Bag down. Bag up. So I'm pretty bad at disc golf. And there's a lot of times where it takes a few extra strokes for me to finish a hole. And every time I take a shot, I have to put my bag down, take the shot, and pick it back up. Recently, I played disc golf with somebody who adapted a golf bag cart to hold his disc golf bag, and it looked super convenient. I think that this would be a cool project to use 3D printing in, and I'm going to go a little overboard and make it 100% 3D printed. So with this project, I have three main goals. One, obviously, is to build a cart that can hold my disc golf bag. The second one is that I want every part to be 100% 3D printed. I know it's easy to go and buy some PVC and you know buy some simple hardware from Lowe's and probably build one of these, but you know this is a 3D printing channel. I want to make everything 100% 3D printed. And then the third goal is that all of my parts I want to be able to fit on the build plate of my Ender 3 Max so that if anybody else wants to print one of these, they can do that if they have a printer that's capable of having a 300 by 300 build plate or larger. Here's an extremely detailed diagram that I drew of the disc golf cart I'm trying to design. I'm thinking, you know, you're gonna have two axles here with some piece that connects to, you know, a rod that comes out here, gives you your little stand. We got a tray and then just a hook to hold the top of the bag. So first I'm gonna start out by designing the wheels and then I'll go from the axles to this piece that connects everything. Then I'll build out the stand and then hopefully the handle and the tray and the rest of the cart. So let's first start with the wheel. I'm gonna try and make it like a 10 inch wheel. Hopefully that fits on my Ender 3 Max. We'll find out. All right, so we have our wheel printed out. I used a lot of supports on the back of the wheel. It took about 550 grams of filament to print out this wheel. It's 10 inches in diameter. Um, came out looking pretty nice. So we got to remove the supports off of there. And then I have two of the ball bearings that I designed in the previous video. And I got to remove the supports from them. So let's remove the supports and then we'll press the bearings into the wheel and then we should be good. So with all the supports off of the wheel, this side is definitely a little more rough. So we'll put that on the inside when we build the cart. Um, and I'll sand it down so that it takes away some of the sharp edges, but overall looks super cool uh, Let me pop all the supports out of the bearings and then we'll try and fit them in. I have a feeling that this first one is gonna fit great This side that was on the build plate it might have had a little elephant's foot so the the Tolerance here might be a little tight. So I might need to sand this uh, This seat to make it fit in But we'll see so let me get the supports off of the bearings. So let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. So the front bearing pressed in perfect. Let's see about the rear. Like I expected, it is not gonna fit without a little bit of sanding, so let me sand that down.
have one wheel complete. And now we have two. So we're good for the wheels. So first problem I ran into when printing the axle was I tried to print it horizontally on the build plate. I was thinking that this would be the most strong, and it probably is, but the threads just came out like garbage. So that was crap. So then I decided to print it vertically, um, but the Ender 3 Max did not have a high enough build volume to do that so my z-axis made a ton of terrible noises and it was just a blob on the end of this axle so that didn't work so i ended up shortening the axles and this is what we got so far the cart is coming together we got our working ball bearings axles connected we got our stand with a print in place ball joint so that it can sit you know, nice and flat on uneven surfaces. So now I'm going to print the handle. Two pieces came out perfect and two pieces had a terrible failure. So I gotta print two more of these and then hopefully the handle will be done. Finally got the handle straightened out, everything printed nicely. This thing is legit. So here's my disc golf bag. The cart is fully assembled, and now I'm looking at ways to attach the bag to the cart. I just cut out a piece of cardboard here, and this is my idea. I'm thinking that I'm gonna print out a piece similar to this that will slide over here, here, and here, and it'll just kind of drop on, and then it will somehow clasp on to this piece here. So that's the goal. I think that this is an appropriate size. And then, and then once the bag is on and secured, I'm going to have a hook that bolts on to the handle here.
All right, so I ended up printing the tray out in a two-piece setup. That way we can get a nice and wide tray. We have this side that has a piece that sticks out. That'll go into this side that's hollow. And that should make the complete tray. And then next I need to work on making some screws. That'll bolt it down to the adapter. And then the cart is almost done. So something weird about this print was that I was getting this weird distortion, especially there, pretty much all across this side. And I had it in some lower sections too. Now I printed it. I printed it like this. You know, this was split in two, but it was on the X axis that those stutters were happening. So I think that either I got like a loose belt here maybe, maybe I need to tension that some more, or maybe my whole bed is shifting. I'm not sure, that's something that I'll have to triage later. So the cart is done. Unfortunately for the hook, I actually ran out of the blue filament. So I had to print it out in white. I'll print one out in blue whenever I get some more filament. But the cart came out awesome. So here's the finished cart without the bag on it. And I just want to go over a few design flaws that I had with this. One, the solution that I came up with for mounting this tray in here is not super great it wobbles a lot so i think if i were to redesign this i would probably make these go all the way around this piece and widen it out so that way you can slide it on each side and that would keep it locked down to this and then this part would keep it keep it straight the second biggest issue with the cart is that the handle is just not strong enough the only thing that saves it is this white hook here which holds the top of the bag which really pulls a lot of weight on this part of the shaft. Without the white hook, all the flex happens here at this T and it is just, I, I don't even wanna pull it without the hook on there because I think it'll break. The last issue, which is not a super big issue, but it's just the backpack straps sometimes fall out of the tray and then they can get caught up in the wheels. It's not a big issue, but it's kind of annoying. It's a nice 45 degrees here. We came to the local nine hole and we're gonna play around with the cart and see if it doesn't break and see what happens. So we're at the tee box for hole number four. So we finished three complete holes. And really there's only two flaws so far. Uh, one is the handle is a little short. So sometimes I'm catching my foot on it when I'm walking. So I can extend that by another five, six inches and that'll be about perfect. And then the second flaw is this elbow piece here. It doesn't really have anything locking it. So it can spin and you know come unthreaded. So I'm thinking that I'll print out a thin little nut that'll go on there that'll lock this in place. But other than that, so far so good. Let's continue on, see if we have any critical failures.
say I was any good at this job. And that, my friends, is why he needs the cart to go off roading. All right, so that does it for nine holes. The car worked out perfect, except for those two flaws that I mentioned. Uh, this is a pretty rough nine hole in terms of the terrain and nothing really broke that was that was critical so i think overall it's a success if you want to see a video of me improving this cart let me know in the comments and until next time thanks for watching